What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. I'm actually, I'm not even gonna sit here and lie, I'm actually a little bit nervous about filming this video, which is weird because it's just like any other video. But as you can tell by the title today, I'm gonna be doing an updated makeup routine where I'm only using a full face of my all time favorite products. So you know if it's in this video, it's a good one. Now, the reason I'm a little bit nervous about this video is because part of it is sponsored, but that's not the part I'm nervous about. The part that I'm nervous about is the brand that it's sponsored by. Okay, if there was ever a highlighter that you guys maybe associated with me, I'll leave you to think for a second. Um, today, I'm freaking teaming up with Ofra to talk about Rodeo Drive. Like, I don't think I have to do the whole spiel about if I ever do a sponsorship, then you guys know that like I love the product and I'm completely honest about all my reviews. I love this product. This is my favorite highlighter of all time, ever. Like, let that sink in for a minute. Think about all the highlighters that I have, all the new highlighters that I try in testing videos. This has forever been my fave. And I say forever because I've had this since Ofra looked like this. Like, look at this. It is well and truly loved. It has had its day. But yeah, I thought if there was ever a time to feature Ofra Rodeo Drive, it's in my freaking favorite. So yeah, fully having like a pinch me moment right now because <laughs> Ah. So yeah, if you guys want to hear all about my favorite products and if you want to see how I transform myself from this into this, please stay tuned. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. So obviously every great makeup routine has to start off with a stunning set of ears. All right, so first of all, I'm going to start off with moisturizer. I always moisturize right before I put on my makeup. I just kind of like how it looks. I'm not too picky when it comes to moisturizers, but two I always do like to use is a secret source by It Cosmetics. And then also this guy from Glam Glow, it's the water burst one. I mean, you can freaking see how much I love it because I ain't got none left. So I just like to pop that all over my skin and just massage that in. So normally I would just kind of leave it at that and go straight in with foundation, but I actually have a new favorite primer. Now, I, I've always said it, I'm not really into primers that much. That was until I discovered that Ofra had a Rodeo Drive primer. So yeah, I've been using this recently to give myself a bit of a glow and I, oh my God, I just love it. It's mental. Like, look at that. It just makes you so freaking glowy. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little pump of that and I like to pop that on the high points of my face mostly. So basically where I would just like normally put a liquid highlighter or something. So you can see it just like that. And then I'll just blend all of that outwards. So I'm still blending it onto like the rest of my face, but focusing it mostly on the high points. And because of the moisturizer that I put underneath as well, it just blends in so nicely. If I just take a little bit more here and just show you guys a little close up, you can see that's how it looks. And then as you blend it out, it just gives you an extra little bit of glow. So yeah, that's probably one of my latest favorites, but I'm honestly so obsessed with it. I just love how glowy it makes my skin. Sometimes I'll even put a little bit on my shoulders. But yeah, I am freaking loving that guy at the moment. All right, so now we move on to foundation. Now you all saw this coming a mile away. Milani 2-in-1 is like, it's just the best. I don't even know how long I've been using this for now, but it's definitely been a favorite of mine for a few years. It gives the most insane coverage and it's like dewy, but then you powder it down and it's just got a little bit of a glow. So it's still matte, but it still looks like healthy, even though it's full coverage. And it lasts so well on the skin. It's water resistant. I'm pretty sure it's like sweat proof as well. Yeah, sweat proof. It's just no matter what I do, no matter what I try, this guy always comes out on top. So the shade that I'm using today is 01 Creamy Vanilla, but I also have 02 and 03. I'm just gonna go for the lightest one today and kind of deepen it up a bit with bronzer. So I'm gonna take a pump of that and another pump of that on my sponge. And I just like to, at first, just kind of dot that just evenly around my face. And then I'll switch you guys over to the macro here and I'll show you how it all looks close up because I mean, this is what everyone wants to see. It's all well and good me saying how much I love a foundation, but you've got to see how it performs close up. So like, obviously I had that little scab spot kind of thing here. It's covered that up, but it doesn't make it look dry or anything. It keeps it hydrated. I personally like to apply this with a sponge, but a buffing brush is also a really good way to apply it. So under pressure, I'm like, I got to make it look good. And I also like to go with my lips. I know some people hate that I do that, but I just like to have a full on blank canvas, which is definitely what I have right now. So now for concealer, I am of course, some of these are gonna be so familiar to you guys. You're gonna be so bored at this point, but I have to I have to use my fave. So I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which is like my bay for under eye circles. I always like to use it with my finger. I use the shade medium as well, by the way. And I always tap it on. So at first, I just tap it on with my finger. Sometimes I will go back in with a sponge, but I just find that applying it with my finger works a whole lot better. 
But again, I'll just show you guys in the macro, like the difference there is just absolutely insane. So and sometimes if I feel like I need to move, my nails are a little bit too long or something, I will just go back over underneath my eyes. But I mean, you can, you can literally see it, it's so intense. And then usually what I'll do as well is, say for example, I do have a little spot like this guy here, even though the foundation has covered it up quite a lot, I'll just tap a little bit on there. And I've got a couple of spots here, because I've been picking. And then anything left over on my fingers, I will usually just like tap around my nose. So now of course, one concealer isn't enough, so I've got to go in my second one, which is of course the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Nude. And I just like to pop that under my eyes here, and do a bit on my chin, corner of the nose, and then usually a little sum and something here. And because this one is a little bit lighter than my foundation, sometimes I will just go along my jawline as well, just to help blend into my neck a little bit, because sometimes I don't match my foundation. I don't know if any of you guys have ever noticed before. And then yeah, I'm just gonna pat that in with my sponge again. See, so, yeah, I just blend out the rest of that and kind of just go around my mouth and my jaw. So now move on to powder. Now it was a toss up between the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Sugar Cookie, but the one that I use over every other powder ever has to be the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I just love it so much. Like there's a reason why everyone buys it. So you guys know I really don't like to use too much powder. So I'm gonna take like this much maybe. And I'm gonna go in with my Sigma Spotlight Duster and just pick up a little bit of that and tap off the excess on my hand. And basically all I do, because my under eyes always crease at least a little bit, I will just blend that out under my eyes and then without really moving too much, I then go straight in with the powder. And I always start from like the outer corner so I'm not getting too much powder on the inner corner because then I find it can sometimes look a little bit like crusty and dry and not how I want it to look. And then same for this side, just literally give it a tiny little tap underneath and then put that on. And then just with a big fluffy brush, I'll take whatever's kind of left in the lid, which isn't that much left there to be fair. I'll just swirl my brush around there and tap that. I start around my jaw, because this is obviously the bit that I want to be a bit more glowy. So I always start around my jaw and get the majority of powder there. And then I'll dust some of that on my forehead and like around my temples and cheeks. And then I will just kind of like pat whatever's left on my brush around the center of my face. But yeah, I mean like, from the foundation, obviously from that primer underneath as well, you can see I still do have a glow on my skin. So now I'll just quickly do my eyes. I don't really do this in any kind of order as such, but sometimes I will have already applied concealer over my lids. Yeah, all I'll do is I'll take a little bit more of the Bye Bye Under Eye and just press that over my lid with my sponge. And then it all depends on what kind of eye look I'm doing. If I'm doing something like really out there, then I might leave the base tacky. But when I'm doing like my everyday makeup look that's usually like a cool tone smoky eye, I will just take a bit more powder and just set the lid down. So now of course for contour, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. I think this is probably the best contouring powder I've ever come across, because it's not too cool toned. For me personally, it's like my perfect color, and it has never failed me. So I just like to pop that kind of right to the back of my ears, or the front of my ears and the back of my cheeks, and just bring that down a bit there, and then dust that on my forehead as well. Then while I've got this in my hand, I do like to take a little bit of that. I think it's kind of like a habit, even though I'm gonna be using a palette in a second, I do just love to do this, and I'm gonna pop some of that in my crease here. This is like proper, proper every day for me. Like I'll always put a little bit of this in my crease, just like that, and then I'll just kind of fluff it onto my lid as well. Then I'll do a little bit of nose contouring. I don't always do this, but we're going a little bit extra today. So again, I'll take the same powder, and I kind of like knock it into my brow bone here to give myself a bit of a straight line, if that makes sense. And then with the same sponge that I was using, just so it's still got a bit of foundation on there, I'll just tap lightly over the top, just so it doesn't look too intense, too powdery, anything like that. So now for bronzer, I'm gonna be using my MAC Give Me Sun. I love it so much. So for this, I usually like to take quite a big fluffy brush, and again, I'll just kind of tap my brush in there, and you can see how much comes off. Tap off the excess, and just kind of swirl that onto the top of my cheeks here. So again, a couple of taps, tap off the excess, and I start right at the back and just kind of pat it. And then I'll also put some on the top of my face. I used to put it down here. Now I don't really do that because I don't really feel the need to, but sometimes I will also go over my nose just a little bit to make me look a bit more sun-kissed. All right, so now it is time to put Rodeo Drive all over my face. 
So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you obviously haven't seen any of my videos before. So hello, welcome. This is Ofra Rodeo Drive. It is my all-time favorite highlighter. Like when I say all-time favorite, I have this one and I have two other backups and I have two other palettes with Rodeo Drive in it. This is my original One True Love. Like it's, it's almost dead, but I'm still freaking using it. But yeah, I mean, if you ever needed proof with how much I love this product, this is it. But yeah, this has been my favorite highlighter pretty much since day one. Like if I just give it a little swatch and I'll just show you guys here on the macro. Like it's just stunning. So this shade here is Rodeo Drive, which is my favorite, but to be honest, it's like the general Ofra formula that's my favorite. So obviously if this was too dark or too light for you, then there are other colors available. So yeah, a little rundown on Ofra in case you guys don't know about them. They're cruelty free. They're originally based in the USA, but they are available on websites like Beauty Bay. They do highlighters, they do eyeshadow palettes, they do foundations. They've just launched a new foundation and I'm currently trying it out and I love it. They do like everything to be honest, like pretty much anything you can think of lip products, liners, powders, bronzers, all that good stuff, they do it. And I genuinely don't think there's been an Ofra product that I haven't liked. In fact, I challenge you guys to actually go and find a video where I say anything bad about Ofra because I really don't think I ever have. Now, another thing that's pretty crazy to me is that I actually have a discount code that gets you guys 20% off on the Ofra website, which I will put on screen now and in the description box down below. And I also went ahead and picked up an extra one for you guys, a little giveaway. So again, details down below. But you know what, enough of me yapping on, let's just put this on my face, because this is like, I don't need to say anything, this will sell it to you. So I'm just going in with my Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush, so I'm gonna do a little swirl here. There's like no real fallout, nothing like that. And again, we'll go straight over to the macro, because this is the bit that you guys are gonna wanna see. Okay, are you ready? And there we go. Like seriously, no highlighter gets me as hyped as this one does. That's it from the faraway camera. That's it on the macro. It's just, there's no harsh lines. There's no powderiness or anything like that. It literally just like goes straight into my skin and just gives the most insane metallic finish. Okay, let's do it on this side. Oh, I honestly just love it so much. This is why I'm so nervous about the video because I'm like, I wanna do well. I don't wanna disappoint you, Ofra. I've, I've loved you for so long. So yeah, if you guys did wanna check it out, if you were in the market for a new highlighter, then obviously it would mean a lot to me if you did use my link down below and maybe use my discount code if you guys did want 20% off. I know they also do a smaller one as well. So just in case you guys don't wanna part with all the money for a full size, then you can just go ahead and pick up a smaller one. I mean, this one is still going and I've had this for years. So the mini one will last you a hell of a long time as well. Let's put more on my face. So I'll pop that up there. It's just my fave. It really is. And then of course, load up my Cupid's bow, milk mustache it. And then I like to take a little bit on my finger, literally the teeniest, tiniest amount and just dot that right in the center of my nose there. And then just to kind of mesh that into the skin a bit more, I will just press that in with my sponge. I'll then go in with a pencil brush because obviously I haven't done my brows or anything yet. And I will just pop that on my brow bone. And then take some more Rodeo Drive and pop that on my inner corner. So then I just like to go back in with my bronzer brush just to kind of like buff out any edges there, just to make it all blend in as one. So enough of blusher, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of this guy from Tarte. Um, obviously each blusher kind of depends on each person, but I like to use the shade Insightful. I like these blushes because they're like, they're pigmented, but you tap them off and they're not too much. So I like to just tap a little bit of that basically in between where I put my bronzer and then also my highlights to kind of just make it all blend together a bit more, just so it's not like contour, bronzer, blusher, highlighter. It's like contour, bronzer, blusher, highlighter. You know, it's like it, they'll become one. Yeah, I just like to pop a little bit of that on my cheeks. And again, sometimes I will just kind of go with my nose a touch. So then I'll usually move on to my brows. Now I'm not too fussy about a brow pencil, but I do really love this one. It's from Urban Decay and it is called the Brow Blade. So usually what I'll do is I'll just kind of like brush through my brows with a spoolie. So obviously I get my brows laminated and everything now, so they don't really need too much doing to them, but I'll just kind of just brush them up where I want them to be and then fill in any gaps with the pencil. So I usually just like to fill in the gaps kind of like around my arch up here, lift the arch a bit more. And then if there are a few little hair strokes I want to fill in, then I'll just take the, call it the ink stain. It's like a little felt tip. So I might just add in a couple of little strokes there just to make it look a bit more hair-like. Then I like to take a little bit of the Benefit 24-hour brow setter. This stuff glues your brows down like nothing else. 
and I'll just run that through and get them in the kind of position that I want. Now this stuff, once it's dried down, it will not budge. So a little heads up, if you do wanna put a brow gel with this, you wanna do it quick. So I'm gonna be taking my Gimme Brow in the shade four. And I don't really need to do too much to my brows at the moment because they are laminating and stuff, but I do just like to fill in a couple of little gaps, maybe where like some of the foundation was or some of the highlighter was or something, just to kind of get the color all even looking. I love a strong brow. All right, so now I'll move on to setting spray. So I usually like to use setting spray for two different reasons. One is to make my makeup stay on for as long as physically possible. And then the other reason is to make my skin look a lot more glowy. So one that I'm sure you guys have seen me use so many times that I love for just keeping my makeup on is of course the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm gonna give myself a couple of spritz of that. So then I have another new favorite, which again is part of the Rodeo Drive collection. It is this guy here. You give it a shake. It looks like this. It's literally just the most glowiest thing in the whole wide world. You can put it all over your body and it just makes you so glossy and glowy. But yeah, as you can see, it's got the Rodeo Drive pigment in there, which makes your skin just look, it's like basically putting highlighter all over your entire face, which is why I love it so much. So I like to do a couple of sprays of that. And by a couple, I mean a lot because I love it. I mean, you can just see how glowy it makes my skin there. See, so yeah, I'm really into that at the moment. All right, so now I'll move on to eyeshadow. Now, obviously, different eye looks equals different palettes, but one that I have been loving a lot recently to do kind of like my everyday sort of cool tone, smoky eye look is this guy from Nip and Fab. So this palette here is in the shade 01 Sculpted, and I just love this palette basically for these two shades here and this shade here. So basically, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and go in with this shade here. To be honest, these two are very, very similar. One's just a little bit more cool tone than the other. And I just like to fan that right in my crease. So I really just make sure that's all blended out and I'll blend it up ever so slightly into my brow bone. And then I'll take that same eyeshadow just on the side of the brush and go under my eyes with that. Then using the same brush, I'll go in with the slightly cooler shade and I'll just pop that over my lid here and just kind of just feather that onto my lid a bit. And then all I'll do is again, taking the same brush, I'll just tap into that darker shade there, tap off the excess, and I like to just stamp that on the outer corner. And I'll just start to do little circular motions to kind of blend that inwards. And then if I need to go back in to help blend that out a bit, I will just go back in with that original shade that I was using. All right, so now for mascara, I'm gonna be using this guy here, which is of course my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. This one is like the limited edition um, Valentine's Day packaging, but it's the same mascara. So I'm just gonna pop that on my top and bottom lashes. Like fair enough, if you're not into overly spidery lashes, but me, I am. And it's my makeup look, so I can do what I want. Yeah, I'll just run that on my lower lash line as well. So now for lips, of course, we're gonna be doing a nude. So what I have here are two different lip liners. I tend to like switch it up depending on what I wanna do, but I think I might use both of them for this look. So I have Max Stone, and then I also have NYX Sandstorm. It's teeny tiny, because I've been using it so much. So if I want more of like a deeper cool tone lip, then I will use Max Stone. If I want something a bit more nudie, then I will use the NYX one. So I think I'll start with the NYX liner, and then if I do kind of wanna deepen it a little bit later on, I will add a bit of this. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and line my lips with that. And then I'll usually just do a bit of like, Contouring. Then one of my all-time favorite nude lipsticks that I always get questions about is this guy here from Maybelline. It's in the shade Nude Embrace. It is part of the Matte Color Sensational Collection. I literally have the littlest amount left, so I need to get a new one. Yeah, I like to pop that on. And then of course, this wouldn't be a Steph video if I didn't do this. I've got to lighten it up with a little bit of um, concealer. So that's the kind of thing I'll usually do for like my everyday lip look, but if I do want something a little bit more glossy, then I don't know what Ofra's done, but they have converted me to a gloss and never thought I would see this day happen. But yeah, they sent over some of their flexi sticks a while ago. This one is in the shade Synthetic. It's like the perfect nude shade. So if I show you guys here, it's like a pigmented gloss, which is what I like. It's also good if, and I just pop that in the center here. And again, like that lightens up my lips in the center as well. Yeah, I never thought I'd see the day where I actually like a gloss. See, so yeah, I've been using that quite a bit recently. And I mean, it's good just for like having it on the go as well, because I don't know about you guys, but after a while of wearing matte lipstick or liquid lipstick, sometimes my lips just dry out so much. So putting something like that right in the center, just kind of, just kind of rejigs your lip look without having to do too much, but it also hydrates your lips as well. All right, so now all that's left to do is add some lashes. So I don't actually have the box for these. 
because these are my last ones, but these are the Isla 146, I believe. I'll make sure I put them in the description box and everything. I've tried like big fluffy dramatic lashes and they're great, but they're not for me for like my everyday look. So what I usually like to do with these because they are kind of like demi wispies basically. As you can probably see, I do have them quite short. So I do tend to cut off like a third of the lash. And yeah, I'll just use those little corner lashes. So I'm gonna go off camera and do that just because it can be a little bit fiddly. And then I will check back with you guys for the final look and we'll do all the close ups and all that stuff. And yes. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. I really hope some of you guys found this video helpful because I know I have been getting a lot of questions about like my updated everyday makeup look. As always, everything I chucked on my face today will be in the description box down below, including, of course, the Ofra products that I mentioned, which honestly, still can't quite get over the fact that I'm working with Ofra, but... So if you guys did fancy picking anything up from Ofra, <laughs> Rodeo Drive. Then like I was saying, you can get the majority of their products on Beauty Bay, but also you can check out their website and use my code, which I will put on screen now that gets you guys 20% off. As always, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up because that really does help me out a lot. And also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.